At the beginning of the movie, the time is shown 800 years ago, where a disease black plague was spreading all over the planet Earth. Due to this, the whole humanity was disappearing from the whole planet, in which, this disease was being spread by the Queen Witch. Because she intended to turn this into a witch's world after eliminating humanity. Then some knights reached to the cave to this Queen Witch to stop her. But that witch was so threatening and most potential. So she kills all the knights. But there is also a bold knight among those knights. His name is Calder. Calder moves ahead after killing all the guards of Witch Queen. And he stabs his sword into the chest of Queen Witch. As a result, that Queen Witch is weakened and is nearly to die. But that witch curses. Calder, holding his heart. That he will be immortal for the whole life. In fact, it is not a curse of being immortal. But it was not less any curse to be immortal for Calder. Because that witch queen knew that the disease spread by her, Calder's whole family was infected to death because of this. So Calder has no reason to be alive. And he also wanted to die with his family. Then they. Scene shifts to the current time where it is seen that, 800 years have passed. And it is seen Calder here, who is still alive because of his curse. But his living style had changed with the passage of time. It is seen here that Calder is going somewhere by airplane. Suddenly, the weather condition of that place starts worsening. Then Calder begins to doubt because of that changing. Weather, that someone has altered the weather condition through sorcery. Then Calder starts detecting as who is that enchanting, sitting in airplane. He also encounters a young witch in the airplane here. It is revealed here that there was held an agreement between humans and witches many years ago. Where witches can live among human beings while disguising themselves. But they will not harm. Any human in return. When it is decided and the rules are made then it is the duty of everyone to follow this. And it is obvious that everyone does not abide by the rules when these are made. So there were also some witches who used to violate the rules. And it was Calder's duty to imprison those witches who are violators of rules. And Calder used to serve to a group titled Action Sword. Whose task included to imprison the evil witches. Calder sits beside that young witch, coming there. Where Hat Young Witch has two symbols regarding weather changing conditions. Those symbols had much powers that witch could not know of them. Now Calder holds the power of those both symbols. Then that witch asks Calder, will you make me captive for this? Calder replies, no. Because. You did not act this intentionally. Then Calder brings those both symbols along with him. Now Calder is known as Last Witch Hunter because of his such actions. In the next scene, it is seen that man comes to meet Calder. And this man's name is Dolan 36. Actually, Dolan 36 is the chief of that Action Sword organization, for which Calder used to serve. Dolan is also a priest. 36th Dolan meant that Calder had worked with 35 Dolans before. So he is 36th Dolan. Dolan tells Calder here that, I will be retired tomorrow from my job. Hearing this, Calder gifts him a costly pen. Many Dolan priests who held their job, they used to imprison the witches while working with Calder. Next day, Calder receives a call and he comes to know that, 36th Dolan is no more. Hearing this, Calder begins to suspect. Where Calder meets with 37th Dolan. Because 36th Dolan had died. So new 37th Dolan had been hired. He was 36th Dolan who had hired him to work with Calder. After this, Calder and 37th Dolan move to the house of 36th Dolan. Where they begin to check the whole house, going there. In order to check this either there has been performed any sorcery. But they get no proof of sorcery, reaching inside the house. But 37th Dolan observes some dead flies in the house. Which pointed to the sorcery. Calder, notices this and sprinkles the magical dust on the flies. Consequently, the performed sorcery on that house is over. So that whole house comes to its real appearance later. Turning to its real look, that house is all objects were broken. Someone had performed a sorcery here in order to hide all these objects. Seeing this, Calder is upset and also become little confused. Because Queen Witch used to work on such signs in her time which signs were made in that room. Moreover, that pen is also missing in that house gifted to 36th Dolan by Calder. In the next scene, they both move to Wizard who was also a seller. Showing the sum. Enchanted objects discovered in that house, they ask him to reveal about 36th Dolan's murderer and that witch. Now this man used to sell the items of the sorcery, so that witch had to buy those objects from here. But he is blind and says, I did not have a look of that witch. But she was extracting the smell of apples. 
Hearing this, Calder understands who is sorcerer. So Calder and 37th Dolan move to the house of that witch. It is revealed, going there, that he was wizard not witch and he meets both of them, disguising a kid. But Calder detects that he is wizard while looking at him. Now Calder stabs his leg, taking a knife. Due to this, that wizard comes to his real appearance. When Calder investigates his house later then he also discovers a pen there, which he had gifted to 36th Dolan. It is ensured, witnessing this pen that, 36th Dolan has been killed by this witch. Then Calder imprisons him in action sword cell. Calder senses this, there is the conspiracy of someone behind this. After a time, Calder discovers a dead fly inside the pen, which was indicating the former infected disease Black Plague spread 800 years ago. It is exposed here that no one dies because of Black Plague. The infected patients are gone into coma who catch this disease. They don't restore their senses until the spreader of Black Plague does not end. Then Calder directly moves to the dead body of 36th Dolan, knowing this. Because 36th Dolan was also infected with the magic of that Black Plague. It means, 36th Dolan did not die yet but he was still alive. And he was in the state of coma as being infected by that disease. And he will come into consciousness after the death of the spreader of that Black Plague. Now the spreader of Black Plague will be ended after searching him within three days. If it may not be carried out then 36th Dolan will lose his life. So Calder starts searching the clues to find out that sorcerer. It means to discover that sorcerer, who has performed the magic of Black Plague on 36th Dolan. Then he reminds one of the clues told by 36th Dolan. Remember that time when you were nearly to die. And Calder's time of death was the same when he was cursed by Queen Witch. So Calder begins to remind that time when he was cursed by Queen Witch. Despite recalling an excessive amount of information, Calder is unable to recall anything. So he goes to a bar of witch in order to refresh his memory. So he may refresh his memory while visiting there. So he may bring into his mind of his past memories. Now Calder was facing issues to recall all memories, because eight years had passed of the happening of that incident. So nothing was in his memory related to his past. Then Calder asks a server witch of that bar to serve a drink which may refresh his memory. But that witch forbids doing so. Because Calder was a witch hunter. But that witch named Chloe agrees on the insistence of Calder. Where she gives Calder a spell memory potion after making. As Calder takes that memory potion as he travels in his flashback. It means, he goes in that time where he was cursed by that queen witch. When. Calder was glimpsing those memory images, then a wizard named Belial reaches there. And he attacks Calder as he arrives. But Calder is not able to act anything right now because he had taken that memory potion. Due to this, his body was not in its strength. Where that wizard Belial also sets the whole bar on fire. So Calder may not take the spell memory potion, coming here again. As it is known that Calder was eternal so that wizard is unable to kill him. But that wizard Belial abducts that witch server Chloe. When Calder restores his consciousness, there was a Belial's piece of cloth in his hand. Which had been left in his hand during their fight. There was smeared a red dust on that cloth. Through which Calder detects where he has stopped at this time. After a while, Calder also reaches there. Where he brings Chloe along with him after making her free from his clutches. Because Chloe's life was also under threat now. The reason was this as she had served that memory spell potion to Calder. So Calder asks Chloe again to make that memory potion. Chloe responds on this, no. I cannot remake this memory potion now. Because all plants burned into fire in that bar used in making that memory potion. But there is my such a friend who grows those plants. And she will surely not have the shortage of those plants. So they both go to her house where they observe, reaching there. That witch has already been killed by Belial. And he also taken all plants with him. Then Chloe says to Calder here that, now those plants can be found. By only one witch, now they both begin to ask those plants, going to that witch. But that witch spells on Calder so he is lost in his past memories. Where Calder is along with his wife and the daughter. Now Calder is entrapped in his flashback here. At the same time, he glimpses Chloe in his memories. In fact, Chloe had a power to visit the dreams of anyone. It means that she was. Visitors of dreams. She brings Calder out from the world of his memories here. When Calder restores his senses again. Then he grabs all powers of the other witch. 
Afterwards, they both leave that place. Now Calder had known here that Chloe is the visitor of dreams. So Calder asks him to travel in his past memories. So he may glimpses the images of his past memories. Now, no plant will also be required for them of doing so. So Chloe agrees with him here. When they both travel to Calder's memory later, then they witness when Queen Witch had cursed him of being immortal after holding his heart, that which was burned exactly after that incident. And the first Dolan is going to cut the heart of that witch to kill her properly after pulling it out, then he notices that Calder is also suffering from pain from his action. Then first Dolan understands that Calder will also be ended after cutting this heart. So the first Dolan does not harm that witch's heart. He rather takes it with him. Coming out of the past memory, Calder knows the whole story that Belial had come to 36th Dolan to get that witch's heart. Killing him, he moves away after grabbing the witch's heart. In fact, he was trying to resurrect the witch. After this, 37th Dolan and Calder go away in search of Belial. In the next scene, Belial is shown who starts the ritual to resurrect the witch. In which he was going to sacrifice that wizard seller. But Calder also reaches there, but Belial had resurrected the Queen Witch before his arrival. Seeing this, Calder kills Belial. Now he moves ahead to kill Queen Witch. But that Queen reverses the curses, touching his heart. Due to this, Calder is very wounded. But he escapes from there. He observes, coming back that 36th Dolan has revived. Because Belial was the spreader of Black Plague at this time. And he had been killed by Calder. So 36th Dolan restores his senses again. 36th Dolan tells Calder here that Queen Witch will be feeble because she has recently resurrected. Now she will struggle to combine all witches with her. So she may be more powerful and threatening. So she may root out the humanity later. Hearing this, Calder understands that Queen Witch will attack Action Sword Cell now. Because it is that place where she can find many witches together. After this, Calder returns to his house, collecting all his weapons, he moves to that prison cell along with Chloe and 36th Dolan, where he observes that Queen Witch has connected all witches, where she is extracting all their powers in herself. Now she is spreading Black Plague again. Then Chol visits the dream and going into the one of the witches dream, she kills her. So that connection is disrupted created by Queen Witch. Consequently, Queen Witch begins to weaken again where Calder begins to assault her, using his sword. And a great fight is observed between both of them here. Suddenly, 37th Dolan points his gun at Chloe. Because Calder had made 37th Dolan's parent arrested before many years. Because they both were evil sorcerers. 37th Dolan was acting all to avenge his parents. 37th Dolan fires his gun at Calder. Here, so he falls down as being injured. Now, Queen Witch makes Chloe the part of the circle to accomplish her witch circle again. Doing so, Queen Witch also kills 37th Dolan. Because he was a human being. No matter that he was supporting her. Now, Queen Witch starts spreading the Black Plague again. Where it is seen that Calder is nearer his death. Where he glimpses the faces of his wife and the daughter. Where they convey, your time has still not come to meet with us. Because you still have to save humanity. After this, Calder is again come into his senses. And he changes the weather condition of that place with the help of weather controlling symbols. Thunder begins to fall there as a result of this, and the Queen Witch's attention is diverted. And Calder stabs his sword into the chest of Queen Witch. So Queen Witch loses her breaths at the spot. Where Calder is going to harm his heart to end her completely. But Chloe stops him of doing so. She tells, you will also be dead if you take this action. Then there will be no one here to protect humanity from the witches. So you should not carry it out. Hearing this, Calder begins to ponder that it was also the wish of his wife and the daughter. That it is not his time to die and he may save humanity. And he may punish the evil witches because of their wrongdoings. So Calder does not harm that heart. He rather hides it in a safe place of his house, bringing it there. So 